Child Protection Services kidnaps our children through fraud and profit and trafficking. They do not need a reason to take them. They make up their own reasons to take them and you are set up to fail no matter what you do. They are funded by your social security. They must take more children every year to also get the government's funding. Our children are put in some foster homes with paedophiles and murderers. This is going on in every state across the country and abroad. We must be a voice for our children and stop child protection services. Bring our children back home. It's exactly the same in this country. Now, as you can see, they said thalidomide was safe. They said cigarettes were safe. They said asbestos was safe. They said mercury was safe. They said DDT was safe. They said glyphosate was safe. Now they say 5G is safe. Does anyone believe them? Mystery virus spreading like wildfire. Depopulation test maybe? Mystery virus spreading like wildfire across the US population. Putting people in bed for a month. Is this a depopulation bioweapon experiment? Links in description if you want to see the video, the whole story. What, what a bullshit here. College promotes men's cuddling group to redefine masculinity. Now, I suggest it will do exactly the opposite. Lee University recently promoted a local cuddling group which one, is, one of its professors endorsed. At the American Psychological Association, Lang worked on a report whose press release stated traditional masculinity is physiologically harmful. <laughs> yeah, okay. 15 things you don't, or you didn't know about the health benefits of watermelon. Love watermelon, your body does too. These 15 health, health benefits of watermelon include the prevention of kidney disorders, high blood pressure, cancer, diabetes and more. It is by far one of the most powerful body healing fruits out there. This amazing fruit is incredibly hydrating, up to 92% water and is naturally low fat. It is nutrient dense and provides a high amount of vitamins, minerals, antioxidants and crucial phytoturients. The health benefits of watermelon are beyond anything you could ever imagine. This fruit is a true healer and is just waiting to be eaten. So what are you waiting for? If you want the 15 benefits, links in description. Top scientists, 5G is criminally insane and will fry living things. Warnings of grave danger to life due to the mass 5G rollout is issued by Dr. Martin Powell, Professor Emeritus of Biochemistry and Basic Medical Science at Washington State University. Real risk of fires organ damage. Professor Paul is a widely cited scientist on the biological effects of electromagnetic fields and a leading expert in how wireless radiation impacts the electrical system of our bodies. He warns, I predict that many organisms will be much more impacted than we will. This includes insects and other anthropods, birds and small mammals and amphibia. It includes plants including even large trees because trees have leaves and reproductive organs that are highly exposed. I predict there will be major ecological disaster as a consequence of 5G. This will include vast co uh, conflagration because EMF exposure makes plants much more flammable. In a world, a world where shocking behavior has become less and less shocking, I consider EU and US view, views and action to be shocking. The US situation is mass insanity. I would have hoped that the Europeans, who think of themselves as being much more thoughtful than Americans, would have been genuinely more thoughtful. Professor Paul, has published seven studies showing the existent, exist, ex, exquisite sensitivity of electromagnetic fields in the voltage sensor in each cell, such that the force impacting our cells at the voltage sensor has massive impact on at the biology of the cells of our bodies. 
that's a scientist, a, a proper guy that knows what he's talking about, telling you that 5G is a kill weapon. Israeli professor, Israel tests weapons on Palestinian kids, tests drugs on prisoners. Israeli occupation authorities have perm permitted large pharmaceutical firms to experiment on Palestinian prisoners and have been testing weapons on Palestinian children, a Hebrew university professor disclosed in a recent lecture series by Catherine Shahadin Dada. An Israeli professor disclosed in a recent lecture series at Columbia University that Israeli authorities have permitted large pharmaceutical firms to experiment on Palestinian prisoners and have been testing weapons on Palestinian children. Professor Nadria Shalouba Ke Kevokoin, the Lawrence D. Beer Chair in Law at Israel's Hebrew University, also presented in Amsterdam in J January on the same topic. Promotional material for the events described her lecture as illustrating through the voice and writings of Jer Jerusalemite children who live under occupation that Israel's practice of surveying, and the rest is in the, in the description if you want the rest, but it's not surprising really is it? Just because you don't see the gun to her head doesn't mean she it's not there. Not just a billboard, molested at 12, sold by dad, raped eight times a day. The Atlanta Journal Constitution. There's a parable about a villager who one day spots a drowning baby and pulls it from the river. The next day he sees two more and snatches them from the swift waters. The following day four babies are caught in the turbulent current and that then eight men, then, then eight and more and more. Deborah Richardson, Executive Director of the International Human Trafficking Institute, retold the story recently to make a point it's time she said we addressed the root cause of sex trafficking demand for far too long our advan advocacy and law enforcers efforts have focused on the arrest of pros prosecution of traffickers while those who were driving the market demand and exploitate exploited children were ignored Richard hopes a new digital billboard campaign her agency launched May 21st will finally do the trick. Having seen the billboards, I don't see how it couldn't. The truth is trafficking, which will run through June 16 to the brainchild of legacy ad agency CEO Michael Dunn. The billboards, he said, were as, uh, designed to get into the predator's mind, deconstruction his motivation and destroy his justification. You can't really win. Four million Britons in poverty despite having jobs. Unemployment is at its lowest since the 70s, but some workers struggle to make ends meet. I'm a bit sc scatty with things like this. <clears throat> Gemma admits when talking about her finances, it was not scattiness that meant she struggled to make ends meet when tackle, taking home £399.69 a month wow that's shit for working 18 hours a week as a cashier at Bet Fred even with tax credits and child benefit topping up her meagre wages it was a constant struggle to pay for the essentials and Gemma fell behind on her bills she has already received letters, phone calls, texts and emails threatening local action over previous unpaid bills as well as £400 of benefit overpayments that had to be repaid. Her son's birthday was an added pressure but she says with a weak smile I always seem to pull it out of the bag somehow. Having scraped through the month she then spent whatever she could afford usually about 20 quid. This is government Britain. No one else to blame but government. Tony Blair is godfather to Murdoch's daughter. Now it all makes sense. The true bond between Blair and Rupert Murdoch is revealed, and with it the extent of the media baron's proximity to power. 
so much fall into place with the revelation that Tony Blair became godfather to one of Rupert Murdoch's two young daughters and attended their baptism on the bank of the River Jordan last year. True, it isn't yet clear whether Blair had agreed to become a, a grand a godparent while he was Prime Minister uh, and the ceremony did take place after he had left office but the important point is that the relationship undermines Mur uh, Mur Murdoch's deep entrenchment in British political life. Murdoch's third wife Wendy Deng, who let slip the <coughs> information in an interview with Vogue, described Blair as one of Rupert's closest friends. Blair's account of the relationship is the, in his memoirs is somewhat different, portraying Murdoch as the big bad beast uh, who won his gr uh, grudging respect. That is clearly disingenuous. Screen Dependency Disorder, the effects of screen time addiction. The next time you leave your house and venture off into the public place, take a minute to look around. If we're living on the same planet, it won't be long before you see a child with eyes glued to a screen almost as big as his and or his her face. While we have witnessed some incredible technological advancements in the 21st century, parents have realised that handing a child their smartphone or tablet is a convenient solution for boredom or temper tantrums. However, this thing called screen time is creating brand new mental health and behavioural problems in your kids. Some of them cry, some of them break things and some even threaten suicide. It's all part of the plan. George Orwell's 1984. They'll be so busy looking at the screens, they won't see the dictatorship that's coming. Eat two spoons of turmeric twice a day for 60 days and this might happen to, you, to the brain and your vein. What happens when two spoons of turmeric is added to the menu twice per day for a period of 60 days there are some pretty amazing brain effects that may occur for people who make this addition to their diet. Why aren't you already including this in your diet? When you eat it each day twice per day you may help fight and the development of Alzheimer's disease a condition that affects thousands of elderly and individuals throughout the US key takeaways the Center for Disease Control notes that deaths from Alzheimer's are at the highest peak in the United States and the reason for that of course is your crisps come in aluminium packets cat food comes in aluminium packets uh, beer comes in aluminium beer kegs Aluminium has been deliberately put into our system to cause such diseases and more. Amyloid beta plaques, which are a known maker up for Alzheimer's, are broken down by con constituent of turmeric. Some mental uh, symptoms, which adapted for subjects in a turmeric specific study, were agitation, irritability and anxiety. PubMed and NCBI published peer-reviewed journal study entitled Effects of Turmeric on Alzheimer's Disease with Behavioural and Psychological Symptoms of D Dementia. Researchers picked pet patients with Alzheimer's disease and administered 764 milligrams of turmeric after just 12 weeks. Their behaviour symptoms were improved remarkably as a result of consuming turmeric. Pedophile lawsuit. Slave children forced to have sex with royals, politicians, academics. Uh, Bill Clinton also visited the villa. A new lawsuit has revealed even more shocking details about the secret lives of the all-powerful elites. Jeffrey Epstein, a convicted paedophile and good friend f from f of former U.S. President Bill Clinton and U.S. President Donald Trump, kept children as sex slaves on his private island, Little St. James, in the early two 2000s. If you are already shocked and disgusted please bear with me a little longer because you haven't heard the worst yet according to f flight logs between the year 2002 and 2005 the former president bill clinton made multiple trips to epstein's private island dixon's car phone shares plunge on mobile phone woes shares of Di in dixon's car phones had plunged after it reported a full year loss and said its mo uh, mobile 
phone arm would make a significant loss this year. The retailer lost 259 million in the last year to 27th of April, compared with a pre-tax profit of 289 million last year. In December, the retailer wrote down the value of its mobile business car phone warehouse. On uh, one analyst said the division was on life support in the an evolving mobile market. It has suffered because people are renewing their handsets less often and demand for mobile contracts is down. Which is good. I have you ever met a happy famous person? It's like looking for a happy rich person. Dirty tricks. Johnson gets revenge on Gove. Former Foreign Secretary feared run off against fellow Brexiteer who destroyed his last leadership bid. Johnson team accused of urging Conservative MPs to back Hunt who make would make final cut by two votes. Treasury may block spending plans to as growth collapses. Beware of the pollen wave. Warm weather on the way but not everyone's happy. Arms sales to Saudi Arabia unlawful. UK government to challenge court ruling. Bark life. Why either every office should have a dog. Bish bash wash. The new echo cleaning products. Express. It's the way one tells them. Queen gives Frankie the giggles. No, parasites. Always parasites. Now one step from number 10. Ruthless Johnson kills off go of leadership hopes. Revenge is sweet for Boris. What a waste. I mean, these are still in the, in the show even. Would you trust them to run a bleeding sweet shop? Because I wouldn't. Telegraph. Boris Eggstack's revenge, his revenge as Gove is squeezed out. Johnson and Hunt, the last men standing in race for PM amid claims of voting plot. Uh, war fears engulf after Iran downs US drone. Oh, shouldn't be flying in Iran's airspace, should it? Grenfell took its toll, says outgoing fire chief. Murray returns his winning way. Mobile operations face price fix allegations. The Guardian. It's Johnson versus Hunt. Hunt, who virtually destroyed the NHS. Johnson, who's just a lying bastard. Would you vote for either of them? I wouldn't. Um, Rumours of tactical voting grow as key rival to favourite eliminated. Leak reveals ministers' racist slur on homeless. Would you? We, we don't need these wankers in Parliament. Hammond's speech halted by climate protests. The Chancellor... Mansion House address was disrupted last night by activists wearing red dresses and sashes who evaded tight security and sh shouted slogans. Oh no, slogans were shouted. What could it mean? The Times. Dirty battle for number 10. Johnson v Hunt to the Prime Minister. Gove defeated in final MPs ballot. Environment Secretary undone by revenge. End of the Fab Four as Harry and Megan split from Royal Charity. Parasites again! Metro. Boris gets his revenge. Go bastard as Hunt scrapes through on final pier. Johnson team use dark arts to see off old rival. Not surprising, really. It's in every paper, of course. Daily fail. Boris gets his revenge. He's accused of using dirty tricks to kick old rival go out of race. Hunt vows to give Johnson fight of his life after knife edge vote. Mirror. The liar v the NHS wrecker. Shameless Johnson or Callous Hunt. Well, they missed the C out, didn't they? Will be next PM and the voters don't get a say. Just like with me. Remember, we never got a say on that. The scum. New mum Abby Shaw looks racy. Bojo's v v's Hunt for next PM. Exclusive BBC Quiz Fury, disaster mind. Champ's answer is incorrect. She wins anyway for gerbil. I don't know why you both buying any of these shit sheets. Speaking of waste of paper. Jimmy Carl, dwarf shame, sick gag sparks outrage. FT. Hunt survives to face Johnson in Tory runoff for Downing Street. 
Gove eliminated by two votes. Rumours of tactical voting. Battle move to members. BOE keep eye on future with plan to open vaults for digital currencies. Now, I can't read that little bit with the plane at the bottom there. It's just too damn small. Uh, and almost finally. The same idea with a different design. I wonder why we are so obsessed with trying to find intelligent life on other planets when we can't even find intelligent life here. And if you look at Parliament, you can see exactly what they mean by that. 